So it's a question about my kids, and I'll answer it, but I really think kids and the situations around them need to be off limits. I thought that what happened when the armed protesters walked through the barriers at the governor's mansion and walked up to the, to the porch and heckled and wanted me to come outside and hung me in effigy would be one of the toughest days on my family during um, my term as governor. But a couple of weeks ago, somebody started secretly and covertly taking pictures of my son at his baseball games and posting them online. Yeah. I hope everybody out there knows that's something you should never do no matter what, no matter who's a parent of that kid. That is really wrong. And that's part, I think, of, of, of uh, yesterday I took my son to a baseball tournament, and I didn't make any of this public, but, you know, when we got there, there were, um, uh, every team had kids in the dugout. That's the number one rule. That's a tiny space. Then no masks. Sadly, little kids all run around together on the playgrounds, which we know is something that we shouldn't do. And I looked around and I said, this isn't safe for my kid. My kid was supposed to pitch. He loves baseball, and I had to look at him and say, this, um, in my opinion, isn't safe. Now, we just got back in the car and left, and, and uh, our coach had the tournament director uh, call us and said, I want to make this safe, and he was... Um, really reasonable about it. He put some, put some things in place that, that just hadn't been followed. But I, but I talked through his, his concerns. And, and what it says about youth sports is if we don't follow any of the rules, doesn't it put it in danger? And it's a low-touch sport, and we ought to be able to do it. But if there are some, some rules that we know prevent the spread of the virus and we don't follow them, what do we do? we potentially spread the, the virus. And that'll just eliminate everybody's ability to do it. Now, I hate this because it means every time my son now walks into a park. He doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve any of this. Governor, um, obviously a lot of people took a step back uh, yesterday when they saw the numbers. So for a lot of the business owners, daycare owners, um, this is really their question. What's the point 